A lot of people have been commenting on how hot the Bixler 1.1 ESC gets. It's an Aerostar 20 amp ESC. Would have thought that would be absolutely fine. Maybe just because there's not enough cooling getting to it, but I'll fly it around for a bit and see how hot it gets. I haven't actually noticed mine getting unduly hot. But I'll just fly around a little bit. I haven't got, oh yes, I've got a full battery. Do some loops, rolls, flying around half throttle. Flying around at a reasonable rate, it's actually below half throttle. Let's see how hot that's made it. After about six minutes of flying, it's pretty hot. Yeah, it's reasonably hot. Hotter than I would have expected. I reckon it just needs more cooling. So what I've come up with is I've just cut a hole in the side of the, the Bixler 1.1 and glued the ESC in there, just a bit of Gorilla Glue around the edges, make sure it's sort of flush with the surface. And that's the heatsink side of the ESC, so that's going to get cooling all the time. And there you can see the ESC up there, it's just sort of glued into that sidewall. Uh, you'd lose some structural integrity by cutting the foam out, but then you'd gain more by gluing the ESC in. That, that's going to be stronger than the foam itself, so I'm not concerned about strength at all and I'm going to get constant cooling for the ESC. It's a pity that uh, we need to do this. Uh, there should be more cooling going in uh, and past the ESC. But you do what you have to do to make the model work. Alright, testing the external ESC on the Bixler 1.1. Going to fly for a little bit of time and see how it heats up if it does. Right, six minutes, I'll bring it in. Huh, <laughs> it's warm but not hot. No, that's fine. That's better.